This is hydrogen tap. It's been a long, long week, and finally the sun's back out again, and I'm able to continue. One of the problems I had just yesterday was those two electrodes that were coming through there. I did not have them sealed properly, so I've been trying to work out a new seal system for them. I've got it now. It made a big difference. Uh, you can hear the birds singing out here. What you're looking at is the bubbler system that I put in there. That has been a real pain in the neck, but I finally got it working right, and I'll show you how that's set up. I'm going to be making a lot of changes on this. If you want to reach me at hydrogentap.com, you can write John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. I'm always interested in your comments. Or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com. I've got the focus cell that you're looking at here up there. Many, many views of it. And uh, if you're trying to make something like it, I think you'll find it really will help. I also have the plate system itself there. One of the things I've done, which I really didn't want to do before, but I had a mechanic finally convince me, and that was I pulled out the box that was sitting here. It It's a resonator of some sort, and I pulled it out. I just couldn't get the bubbler in right and everything else going. So for now, I'm going to run it without that. I have run the car without it. It actually seems to run better. So there's the bubbler, and I'm going to show you, hopefully, I'll turn this ignition over. show you what it, what's going on here. First we'll take a look at the amp meter. If you forgot, there's my safety switch, which when it's up like this, the system is on. And we'll take a look here. There's our amp reading. And you can see the voltage that the car is running even with that amp pull. See if I can get a better view of it here. There you go. You can see the alternator is doing fine. That's with 15 amp draw. I'll rev it up a little bit. Doesn't seem to be caring. I was running 30 amps last year on this alternator without any problem whatsoever. Now this is running, like I said, at uh, 15 amps. I'm going to be running at more than that. I'm going to be running at uh, around 20 amps. The trick is, of course, to see how hot it gets, and uh, that's going to be something we'll have to contend with. Right now I'm running it without the O2 sensor system I'm going to put on it. And I'll show you the bubbler in just a second here. Let's see if that amperage goes up at all. It seems to be holding pretty steady, though. I'm not running on the road. I did warm the car up this morning, so... Let's 
starting to climb just a little bit. My test this week will be to see how far she goes. What I've done is I'm running with two eighths of a teaspoon per gallon of lye. So what I do is put two eighths of a teaspoon in one gallon of distilled water and mix that up so when I go to fill it up it's it's all the same. One of the things I might mention about this focus cell, I've come up with a, a method so you can put it in a system laying down on its side which will be at hydrogentap.com and uh, that came out to be pretty neat. I'll show you that a little bit later. So all the focus cells that I have on my site will be able to be converted very, very easily to a flat system if you want. This is at an idle. Interesting enough, I have a uh, missing plug, a foul plug, and I, I had to turn the lights on in order to keep the uh, Honda running well until I replaced that plug. But as it sits right now, I haven't had any problem. That's with the hydrogen going into it. Remember, we've got hydrogen running in it now. But I want the amps to go up to about 25. Okay, what I'm going to do is open this bubbler up. See if I can get a shot of the inside of it. Go. It's a great shot. So we're looking inside the bubbler, and you can see the hydrogen coming out. It's doing very well. So, of course, the purpose is that if we get a backflash, the lid will pop off on this thing instead of blowing the cell up, which could be bad news. This is my water line here. Right now, so I've got the water up from here. And you have air. This is the output. So the, the top is going to the intake of the engine. This tube right here is coming from the hydrogen system. You can follow it up, you'll see that. It comes off the top of the focus. And you see another tube there with a cork on the end of it. That's my fill tube. I'm going to make that shorter. It worked pretty good when I filled it up. So all in all, my biggest hassle is this bubbler. I'm going to make, I have one or two different versions on the bench right now that I'll be working with. It's going to be a lot different than this. So we're coming right along now and what we're going to do, what I'm going to do for the next day or two is run this to make sure that everything's okay and then I'm going to be working on the O2 sensor and set that up. And uh, what I'm going to do with that is just add power to it. Should be very, very simple. Again, if you want to write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com, certainly be glad to hear from you. Or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com. I've got some real good pictures of the focus cell.